What's going on guys? This is Planet Mars here again coming at you with another exciting video. Next up, what we have here is none other than the Vintage Collection 2020 three and a quarter inch Cara Dune action figure. Now, this figure, I have to say, guys, is amazing. I love the figure. I love, love, love the figure. I love the um, presentation of the figure. I love the picture that they use for um, Miss Gina Carano. And I just love the whole entire action figure all by itself. But let's get down to the basics of this action figure. I just want to show you the card first. Mandalorian. Cara Dune. This looks pretty cool. See the Mandalorian logo? You see our name? I love the even the blue black the um blue background that they use. It's like an ocean blue background. I thought it was sort of kind of cool. It's excellent. Of course, you got the Kenner logo. In the back, you turn around. And for those of you who would like to know, she is VC164. And here's the back of the car. So you see the Mandalore, you see Cara Dune, you have the Remnant Stormtrooper, the Clone Trooper, Jawa Shadow Trooper, Sith Trooper, and Princess Leia Organa in her Yavin outfit. You have the Vintage Collection logo. Love that logo. Love, love, love it. And this is just a Great, great, great card. And I was lucky enough to um, get an extra set um, action figure from Walmart. I had this for a while now, but I didn't want to open it because I love the way that it looked in the box. And I was lucky enough to go to my local Walmart today and get an extra um, action figure set of her. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to put this over to the side and we're going to do the review of the um, action figure that I already had open. This is Cara Dune. I love the face structure of this action figure. They really did her justice with the detailing. Even the little um, rebel logo. You see the little facial rebel tattoo that she has. I thought that was pretty cool. The structure, the architecture, the, the face printing, I think it's amazing. They have done so, the technology of the way that they made their action figures is so over the top. And I think it's great. I love the detailing of the action figure. I love the outfit. I love the whole entire thing. It's just amazing. Okay, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to show you the action figure. I'm going to take this off right quick. I just wanted to show you the action figure. Again, I love the face. I love the detailing. You can see the braid. You see the little, the way that the braid is right here. Looks pretty cool. I love the outfit. It's just so cool. And it looks just like the actress that plays Cara Dune. Even all the way down to her big legs. Look at this. These are like sumo wrestler legs. You've never seen a female action figure with big legs like this. This looks like she's been busting some uh, watermelons with them thighs. Look at her. Off the chain. Love this figure. Let me break down the um, articulation. So she have a swivel. She has a swiveled head. Um, arms. She has the shoulders. Just bendable shoulders. Swiveled wrists. Arms. Um, does she have swivel wrists? Yes, she has swivel wrists. Um, 
and then the torso moves around and it's very i love what they're doing with the i i know i keep saying this i love what they're doing with their torso it it's not loose it's very firm it's very well placed onto the figure elbows bendable elbows And it comes with a removable gun. Removable gun. And then her legs. I wanted to show you something. Her thighs, even her thighs swivel. The thighs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, her thighs swivel. Bendable knees. I don't want to break it. Okay. I always sometimes I always think I'm gonna break these. One day I'm going to do a video and all of a sudden pop, something's going to break. I always have a fear of that. This looks really cool. She even comes with her, um, her little knife. It doesn't come out or anything like that. So I'm going to just leave that there. Swivel ankles. They're bendable as well. This is a pretty cool figure. I do like, I thoroughly enjoy this figure. I just can't get over the face, the face printing that they're doing now with the figures. I think these, this looks excellent. I wanted to show you a close up picture of the um, rebel tattoo. Don't let me. Focus. I think that's as close as I can get. Sorry. Tried to do it for you guys. But anyway, overall, I think this is a really cool, cool, cool figure. Definitely. Definitely a must buy for all of you guys who hasn't got, gotten the um, three and a quarter inch car dude and action figure. I think this is a must buy. It looks exactly like the character does on the um, television show on Disney Plus. Really cool. And I wanted to show you her gun. She has a big gun. She's a big girl, so if she's a big girl, she need to have a big gun. I think the gun looks pretty cool on her. Trying to get a little focus on it. There you go. Here's the gun. Let me see if I can put it on her. Yeah, it fits perfectly in her hand, guys. She looks like she's about to do some. To work. I love this. This is a great figure. I think this is going to be one of my very favorite figures. I do thoroughly enjoy this figure. I'm going to have to give this figure, guys, I'm looking at the detailing of this figure. I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. This figure is definitely deserves an A+. Plus. Definitely thoroughly enjoy this figure it's a great figure and i would like to um also welcome my um brand new subscribers i thoroughly and i greatly appreciate your um love and support for the channel and for those of you 
who have not yet, please comment and subscribe on my channel. I embrace people's comments, positive comments. And Hasbro, you are doing a great job with these three and a quarter inch figures. Everybody knows that I definitely have love for the three and a quarter inch um, figures. That's what I started with. That's what I'm going to end with. Um, I, I encourage Hasbro to keep making figures like these. And we want to see more of these. I understand you guys are doing the Black Series figures and you want to sell that. But for us old school people, we really want to see these three and a quarter inch figures made. And we want you to push out more than just 20 figures a year. Can we have at least 30 or 40 figures like you used to do back in the day? And we can we have some vehicles? Can we have a, some more vehicles? We'll pop, we'll buy them. Especially the Razor Crest. Hint, hint. We'll definitely buy that one. But anyway, I digress. This figure right here, I think, is an excellent figure. I recommend you guys to go out there and buy it. And as always, I want you guys to please, please comment and subscribe to support the channel. And as always, let's enjoy this journey together. Okay, guys, talk to you later.